Today I will be showing you about the new Wix financial tools. What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in for another Wix tutorial by your guy Nino. And today I'm going to show you how to navigate through this new added menu item, which is called financial tools. Okay, don't be alarmed. If you can't find your transactions, invoices, or price quotes, it's okay. Just hop on over to the financial tools and this is where you can see those items right here. Pretty neat, huh? So today I'm just gonna be talking about the transactions piece because I don't wanna get this tutorial nice and lengthy. I know you, your time is valuable, so I'm gonna just get it short and sweet. In this section, you can see a list of all of your payments received through any payment method or any provider. Uh, and this includes like using Corvid by Wix, uh, Wix stores, Wix invoices, uh, Wix bookings, Wix art store, Wix music, all of these things that involve transactions. Okay. Any type of payment through your site will come straight through this transaction. Now, in order to get started, you guys need to click manage payment methods, but I'm just going to get right into one that I've already have set up. So here you have your transaction overview. Okay. Your transaction table displays the financial transactions from your Wix payments account, which you have to set up in order to view this uh, page right here. And the transactions go through transaction cycles uh, in which the status in the table updates accordingly right here. So, I mean, don't worry, it's updated several times a day. So if you're wondering like, did it go through, did the credit card or debit card go through? Well. I mean, this will update regularly. So in this table, you can see here that it has a nice filtering method and it has a nice sorting by the date. Okay. Here you can download an uh, CSV file and up here, this will show you your gross income. Now, sorry guys, if you're doing things by manual payments, it will not show up in this total. This total is only based upon transactions that have went via online. Okay. And then this will tell you how many successful payments that you have. So to get in the nitty gritty type stuff, I'm going to tell you all about these titles. In this table, you will have the date, the customer product services, method, status, and amount. But I know I'm missing a few other items because I have this going through a setup through another provider. But if you have the setup going through Wix, you will have the order ID number here, the actual transaction type, and then you'll have the fee of the charge that Wix charges onto your account. And then you'll have a note section and a net section. So since we don't have those fields here, uh, I won't go much into the details about those, but I will give you an overview about these fields right here. So the date is just the date. You can sort this by ascending or descending. Okay. For the customer, this will show your customer's name. Uh, the products and service services here will show you your product and service. Uh, the type of method will show your credit card or debit card and as well as it will show your manual uh, payments on here as well. It just won't total up here. For your status, it will show you about the current state of that payment. And I'm going to talk a little bit more into detail after I finish talking to you guys about the field types. And then you have your amount. That's the amount that you have charged that individual for your service or product. Now let's talk about these transaction types. You will have different types of transaction types. So you'll have one that is credit, one that says refund, chargeback, chargeback fee, or funds transfer. Okay, and each and every one of these things actually makes sense. But if you want a little bit more detail, I'll explain. So credit, 
that's the funds coming into your account for a sale. Uh, refund, these are like the funds that are leaving your account and getting refunded back to that individual. Uh, chargeback is a customer has disputed your charge with his car provider or bank and the funds have been returned to the customer's account. So just to give you a little note, the chargebacks are decided by the credit card provider or the bank and it's not by Wix. Chargeback fee, that's the fee that Wix payments charges for handling a chargeback fee. Funds transfer, if your account has a negative balance, Wix may claim back those funds once they become available. So now we're gonna talk about transaction statuses. So depending on the type of transaction, the transaction may have one of the following statuses, which is uh, pending credit, which that's the transaction that was approved, but the funds are just not available for payout. Uh, credited, that's the transaction that was approved and funds are available for payout. Pending debit, the debit transaction was approved, but the funds just haven't been debited to your uh, from your account. So that's, uh, that's a pending debit. Debited means that funds were debited from your account and it was approved. Paid out means the transaction was included in a previous payout to your bank account. So that's what that status means. Payout reserve. Uh, this transaction is like a part of a payout that was returned by your bank, uh, but the funds are available in your Wix payments account. So you don't have to worry about it. So the CSV file, how it's structured is the payment date the payable ID, the Wix payments transaction ID, and the cashier's transaction ID on there too. Also, you have the payout ID, uh, payments, customer name, payout date. And this is all the information, including the information that you guys have right here about your customer products, method, your status, and the amount. All of that stuff is included in the CSV v file download if you want to know a little bit more details about how your transaction is going you can just click on your customer and then you can scroll down and see all of the payment information and details about how your transaction processed i just want to leave a note here that you cannot change this transaction i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a shot. I know you guys want to get paid and this is the way that you can actually take note of all of your transactions that have went through your site, whether you're a photographer, a videographer, or a web designer, or some type of person that's given out product or services to different clientels or customers, and you definitely want to get paid definitely go through those steps and then you will be able to see your transaction list just like I'm showing you right now. If you have any questions about the transactions, definitely drop it below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button right there. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, ciao.